Welcome home, little Caleb and Liam. <laughs> this is our mansion. Yes, we hope you find the uh, a custom suitable for you. Darling, we live in pure luxury. Of course these children will be happy. They're each getting their own wing in the house. <laughs> I hope they do. Anyways, Nanny, come here. Uh, yes, ma'am? Are the rooms ready for the babies? Yeah, but, uh, we weren't expecting there to be twins, so we've only prepared one. What? This is unacceptable! All children need to have their own master suites with at least three balconies, a complete walk-in closet, and their own private ensuite bathrooms. Um, yes sir, yes sir, uh, we'll get to that right now. Anyways, you know that massive gala that we were planning? Why don't we surround that with the twins? Make it like a welcome home party. Darling, this is why I married you, because you are absolutely brilliant! Perfect, yes, let's throw a massive gala, just so everybody can look at how beautiful our children are. Oh my gosh, is school almost over yet? I want to get out of here. We're almost done, Caleb, I promise. But I just wanted to let you guys know about your progress. Liam, you've been doing great in your tutoring sessions. You're passing with flying colors. Oh wow, that's great to hear. Thanks, man. You're actually such a great tutor. But unfortunately, Caleb, you are not doing so well. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you actually haven't done a single assignment that I've given you. Who has time to do stupid, lame assignments? Uh, people that are in school that want to pass, like your twin brother. Unfortunately, I have to let you know, you're not going to be graduating. Uh, that's impossible, okay? I have to graduate. I'm sorry, Caleb. It's too late now. Caleb, I can't believe you're failing. Mom and dad are going to be so upset at you. I happen to have, what is this, about $50,000 in cash? Um, how about you take this and you give me an A for the whole year and I graduate. Caleb, are you bribing our tutor? This isn't right. Shut up, Liam. Did you say it was $50,000? Yeah, that's right. 50K, what do you say? I say that's incredible. I need to buy a new Range Rover immediately. Uh, see, that's how it's done, Liam. Hey, Caleb, you wanted to meet me here? What is this place? Check it out. This is my brand new house. <laughs> you can't be serious. Oh, no, I'm serious, dude. I already talked about it with mom and dad. And because I graduated with such great grades, I decided to treat myself to a brand new house. What do you think? It's like totally cool, super modern. I think I'm going to put a fountain in over there and I'm going to have so many parties here. Caleb, this isn't right. You bought this as a graduation gift? You didn't even graduate. You bribed our tutor. You ended up with better grades when you didn't even work at all. Dude, so what? I had the money to buy myself a couple grades. I don't know why you're acting like a total nerd. I don't know, dude. You're just extremely irresponsible with your money. And you didn't even earn any of it. We were both given this money by our parents. Yeah, and I can spend it exactly how I want to. Dude, you should start spending some of your money as well. I mean... Look at your car. It's a total piece of junk. <laughs> it's my first car, and I don't need anything special. Oh, I see what this is. Okay, okay. Dude, I completely understand, okay? You're just jealous that I have a mansion now, and you don't. What? You can't be serious, Caleb. Yeah, it makes total sense. It's the only reason why you're acting like a total loser. <laughs> if being responsible and working for what I get makes me a loser, then I'd rather be a loser. You literally don't work for anything. You just get stuff handed to you all the time. I worked hard, did the assignments, and graduated on my own, and that makes me feel good, while all you did was pull your wallet out and threw money at your problems. Yeah, and that made me feel pretty good. <laughs> You're my twin brother, and I don't want to see you in that stupid, ugly car ever again. We have to go buy you a new car. I really don't need a new car, though. Uh, yeah, you actually do. <laughs> Come on, let's go. So boys, uh, what do you think of this one here? This is the newest model. It is completely electric and fuel efficient. It is in this bright candy red color that we normally don't sell, so you would only be getting it here. Whoa, super exclusive. That's awesome. Liam, you have to buy this car. 
I don't know, Caleb. I don't think I need it. It seems just like it's a waste of money. A waste of money? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry for my stupid twin brother. He doesn't understand that we were actually born super rich and money is awesome. It's fine. I completely understand. Liam, stop being such a stick in the mud, okay? This car is super exclusive and it's probably really expensive, right? Actually, so the base model is uh, $80,000, but to have it in this limited edition candy red color, it would up it to $99,999. That's so much money. There's no way I'm buying this. I'd rather get an SUV or something. An SUV over a sports car? Seriously? Yeah, at least that would be useful for my hiking trips. Well, you know what? If you're not going to buy it, I'm going to. In fact, I'm going to buy two of them. Hey, car salesman lady, I want to buy two of these cars. Can you have them ready in like five minutes? Two? Oh, yes, of course. We'll have them right in a jiffy. All right, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Why do you need two sports cars, Caleb? Well, one car can be for when I go buy boba tea, and the other car I'll use to go get sushi. Totally makes sense. This is what I'm talking about, Caleb. You don't think smart with your money. You just throw your money like it's nothing. Yeah, because it is nothing. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't know why you're being so difficult today. Ugh. Caleb, I just wish you were more responsible with your money. Yeah, and I wish I had a cooler twin brother. Thanks for meeting me today for lunch, Mom. I feel like it's been so long since I've seen you. Yes, it's been quite a while. I've been visiting all the islands, trying to figure out which one to buy, and I was able to schedule you in for lunch. Yeah, this is really nice. Huh, I love spending time with you. Yes, darling. When I have the time, I love spending it with you as well. Uh, um, sorry, sir, but um, your uh, card was declined. What? What are you talking about? Hmm? Declined? What, uh, what is that? I've never heard that in my life. That just means he doesn't really have any funds in his credit card? I'm sorry, but you don't know who you're talking to, okay? I'm one of the richest kids in the whole world. Just here, take my second card and use this. Um, okay, we'll go try that one. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Mom. It's so embarrassing. <sighs> That's fine. Mistakes happen all the time. I'm sure it was just a faulty wiring on that other card. Yeah, it's probably because I use it so much now it just, like, doesn't work anymore. I need to call the bank and get a new one. So, I was thinking, what if I redesigned your home mansion? You know, it's very, um... Old style, very 2020. We should be looking towards 2021. Yeah, I think you're totally right. Sir, uh, this one also didn't work. What What do you mean it didn't work? This card always has money on it. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, we'll need somebody else to pay for this meal. Ugh, fine, here, take my card. Caleb, why isn't yours working? I don't know, Mom. This, this never happened before. There must be something wrong with my cards, that's all. I'll, I'll get it figured out. What is this note? Rental notice? What, what does this even mean? Let me just see what's going on with my bank account. What? No. Negative $50,000? What? Oh, this isn't good. Oh, no. This is not good. Hey, Caleb. I want to talk to you. Wait, is everything all right? You look upset. Um, yeah, no, I'm fine, dude. What do you want? Mom just messaged me and asked me what declined means. She was out eating lunch with you, so what happened? Well, we went out to lunch and the server kept saying my card was declined. Caleb, that means that you ran out of money. You're broke. Yeah, I know. I just checked my bank account and it's like negative money. What is even negative money, dude? I'm scared. That means that you spent more money than you actually had. And now you owe the bank money. What? No, that's where I put the money and, and it's just supposed to be there, dude. What is going on? I need to figure this out. Can I borrow $50,000? Maybe actually just make it an even hundred. Hundred thousand dollars, dude. No, I'm not just giving you my money, Caleb. You need to learn how to work for something for once. Well, I'm asking you for help, and you're my twin brother. Why aren't you helping me? I need $100,000. It may not seem like I'm helping you right now, but you'll thank me later. You need to figure this out on your own. Well, if you're not going to give me any money, I'll just go ask mom and dad. Hmm. 
Mom, Dad, I gotta talk to you guys. Something's going on. Darling, what's wrong? Well, guys, I just need to borrow like $100,000 real quick. That's all. Why would you need to do that? We gave you so much money in your savings account. Yes, not to mention your trust fund is about $70 million. So why, why do you need an extra 100 k Well, um, the thing is, I, I actually don't have any more money. What, what, what do you mean? Sweetheart, what's going on? I'm confused. Uh, I'm also confused. Does this have to do with the whole decline thing? I still don't know what that word means. Yeah, I just ran out of money, I guess. So how about you guys just give me some and I put it in my bank account and everything's going to be fine. Uh, no, son, no. Actually, it doesn't work like that. We gave you about $70 million and you spent it all? Are, are you joking? <sighs> this is extremely disappointing. I thought you were going to at least be a little smart like your twin brother and save some of your money, but you just blew it all? Dad, were you upset? Of course I'm upset! I worked extremely hard to build our family fortune. And you just throw it away like it's nothing? You need to learn a lesson, Caleb. But you guys are rich! That's supposed to be the whole point! If my parents are rich, I have money too! No, Caleb, it does not work like that. You need to go get a job or something. <sighs> Honey, I agree with your father. You need to work for your earnings. Learn what a dollar means. But working is for dumb poor people, and we're not poor! Well, technically, Caleb, you are now poor. Well, I don't even know where to start. Where do I get a job? Why don't you go talk to your brother, Liam? He has a job. He can help you. I don't have time for this. I have to get on a private plane. I've got a very exclusive business meeting going on. So if there's anything else you need to discuss, do it with someone else, okay? Caleb, get out of here. I'm very disappointed in you. Dude, why would you take me here? What even is this place? This is a work office, Caleb. It's where people come to work and make money. But it looks so sad. Where are the gold pillars and the fountains and the butlers and everything? <laughs> you have a lot to learn, don't you? This is where I work and I'm gonna try to help you get a job here. I talked to my manager and after a little bit of convincing, they agreed to meet with you. Dude, I don't know if I could do this, like, work? Huh, I don't know if I can do that. I mean, if you don't want to sit with your account being at negative $50,000, you're going to learn to have to. Ugh, all right, fine. I'll give it a try, I guess. Just never really worked before. Caleb, you need to go in there, and whatever you do, do not act like yourself. Act responsible. All right, fine, fine, I got this. Liam, where is your brother? Why are you wearing such fancy clothes? Oh, no, I'm Caleb. I'm, I'm Liam's brother. Oh, you guys are twins. Whoa, freaky. Just have a couple questions for you. All right, excellent, because I have a couple questions for you as well, and I'd like to start. Um, So how much am I going to make? I'm thinking I really need to start about like $200,000 a week. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you, that was a funny joke. Man, you're funny. I wasn't joking. Well, there's absolutely no way you're making that as a salary. I don't even make that. Well, that's the money that I need, okay? And honestly, I should probably just be running this place. I should really be your boss. It doesn't look like you're doing your job well. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but Liam went out on a limb here and he said that you really needed this job. You're acting like a complete spoiled brat. And you're acting like a total loser. There's no way I would ever hire you for any kind of job. I wouldn't even hire you to mop the floors. People mop floors? Get out of my office! Oh, what am I gonna do now? Liam's gonna be so mad at me that I didn't get this job. I hope he doesn't get in trouble. I've gotten myself into a total mess now. I've gotta figure something out. I need to get some food or something. I'm so hungry, I can't even think straight. I think this place has food. Hey you, working idiot. Do you have food here? I'm hungry. Well, this is a sewer, so of course, yeah, I would think I would have food. All right, just give me whatever you have. Here, just take my card. All right, let me just scan this and, um... Oh, well, it looks like the card is declined. Yeah, uh, it just 
it, the first time usually happens like that. You've got to do it like three or four times. So like, can you do that, please? I'm really hungry. All right, here goes one. Mm -mm, nope. Here goes two. Mm -mm, no, didn't work. Uh, three. No, uh, and four. Uh, yeah, no, this card is literally useless. Yeah, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're doing. You're just stupid. I'm not stupid. And look, I'll try to swipe this card one more time. And it's actually, it now switched to destroy on sight. So here we go. Destroying the card now. What? No. What are you doing to my card? That's all I have. You're so dumb. Why would you do that? You're a total jerk. I'm going to tell my mom and dad. They're going to buy this whole stupid store and get your dumb, stupid face fired. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the corner shop. Have a great day. <laughs> Caleb, what's going on? I'm out of money and broke, and that stupid store clerk just destroyed my card, Liam. I just talked to my manager, too, and he told me that you totally flipped out in the interview. How can you do that? You completely blew it. And not to mention, you embarrassed me. Well, I'm sorry, Liam. I just didn't know what to do. I asked him for a bunch of money, and he just laughed in my face, and I just got so upset. I just feel lost. Caleb, I've already told you what you need to do. You need to put your ego aside, work hard, and everything will be fine. Everyone starts from somewhere, and right now you're starting from rock bottom. But you can do this. I know you can. Really? Of course, man. You're my brother, and I love you, and I always believe in you. Oh, thanks, Liam. I know you're just trying to help. I promise. I'll do better. I'll show you. Well, Caleb, you actually turned yourself around. You're a model employee. You've been working so hard. You've earned this promotion. Congratulations. Oh, really? Thank you so much. So, dude, what do you think? This is my new place. This place is really nice, Caleb. And I just want to say how proud of you I am. You really proved everyone wrong. Well, you're the one that taught me to stop being such a spoiled jerk. <laughs> and honestly, working really hard and buying this house it actually feels a whole lot better than just spending money on a mansion that I didn't earn. Now, come on inside, dude. Just wait till you see the kitchen. Twins Ricky and James were born to be famous, but their fame came with a price that neither of them were ready for. Oh my God, I, I can't believe it. Twins? I know, isn't it just amazing? And look how fashionable your babies are. I don't care how fashionable they look. I'm not ready for twins. I cannot do this. I, I, I gotta go. I'm sorry, I don't think I understand. What do you mean you gotta go? Hey, wait! L lady! You can't just leave your kids here. This isn't a daycare. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Um, excuse me, uh, did someone just abandon these kids? You're Heather, THE Heather! Um, yes, that's me. Oh my gosh, you're like a huge celebrity! <laughs> yes, I've been an actress all my life, but um, if somebody abandoned them, I can take care of these cute little babies. Yeah, that would actually be great! Let me go grab some adoption papers from in the hospital. <sighs> Sounds good. Oh man, Ricky, today has been a crazy day, huh? Well, why do you think that? Well, all those people that were around us earlier asking for our autographs and stuff, it was weird. I mean, I barely know how to write. Really? You, you think it's weird? I, I love it. I love when people recognize me and, 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 and want to talk to me. It makes me feel great. Hey, really? You do? Yeah, like everyone in the world knowing who I am. Everywhere I go, someone knows my name, and, and I think it's great. I think you should see it that way, too. Yeah, I guess it is kind of cool. Yeah, and besides, Ricky, we're like, obviously the most talented kids ever. Hey, I know you guys. We go to the same school, don't we? Yeah, you're Walter, right? Yeah. Do you guys want to hang out? Maybe we can go use the swings or something. Yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll meet you over there. Uh, okay, sure. But, James, what's going on? That kid, 
He's kind of boring. I don't think that we should be around him. He's not famous at all. Well, he seems really nice, and I think we need to make friends. We barely have any friends besides, well, you and me. Ricky, that's because we're obviously the most talented people in the industry. And if you keep wasting your time on these boring people that won't help us at all, you'll never change. And you're always going to be the same boring person, just like the rest of them. Well, I don't want to be boring. Then that's why you need to listen to me, okay? We can't be wasting our valuable time on these people. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Dude, those paparazzi are crazy. Yeah, I think it's super cool though. We're gonna be all over the blogs. Yeah, but they were just kind of out of control. I don't know, I was kind of scared. Well, you're both correct. This lifestyle can be very fun, but it can be dangerous, all right? So you just need to be careful. Heather, Heather, please, I've got a few questions. Excuse me, this is our property. Please leave right away or I will call security. Heather, please, just a couple questions. You and your twin boys, Ricky and James, are the hottest celebrities right now. Please, just a couple questions. <sighs> Fine. Well, well, what are you doing? I said that if you wouldn't get off our property, I would call security, and that's what I'm doing. Very sorry, Heather, very sorry. Just another picture before I go. All right, thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Now that, boys, is an example of how to deal with it, all right? Don't ever let them get their way. You are still a human, all right? And know that. Yes, Mom. Shoot, I think I blinked in the picture. Whoa, James, look. It's that playground Mom used to take us when we were little. Don't you remember? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I'm just glad that we can finally relax. That shoot was so long, I can't believe it took all day. And we just get to hang out, just you and me now. I actually didn't mind the shoot. I love when people take pictures of me. Yeah, I know you do. But come on, let's check this out. I wonder where all the other kids are. There just doesn't seem to be anybody around. Which is weird too, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, did you see my new TikTok already has a million views? Uh, no, I haven't looked. What do you think? Maybe we should just hang out here. You know, kind of like old times. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. I was just uh, replying to a comment. So, is that what you want to do? Just reply to all your comments? Well, yeah. I mean, we're famous, right? It's just part of the job. Yeah, I guess. All right, you go do that. I'm going to hang out at the playground. Oh, man, this burger looks so good. My agents got me on this crazy strict diet for the movie coming up, but... I think I can cheat a little bit, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, hey you, aren't, aren't you Ricky? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me, hi. Uh, are you a fan? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I saw you in the movie The Apple Fighter because green's my favorite color and I thought I'd give it a watch. And I, uh, I thought you were the worst actor. I thought your performance ruined the movie for me. Wow, um, I worked super hard on that role and I thought I did really well. Sorry you didn't like it. But if you wouldn't mind, I just kind of want to be alone and enjoy my lunch. Yeah, well, uh, besides you needing to take acting lessons, I also think that you're just fat and stupid. Maybe you should not eat that burger. It's going to make your gut even worse. Seriously? You don't even know me. You can't come up to me and just call me fat. Well, you're fat. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, that guy was a jerk. Yo, Ricky, I caught that entire thing on camera. Wait, you did? So you saw that guy being a total jerk to me, huh? Yeah, sure. More like I saw you yelling at a fan. What? I didn't yell at him at all. That guy was just being mean. You paparazzi are all the same. Yeah, whatever you say. Listen, dude, just please don't post anything about that, okay? Oh, you don't want me to post anything, huh? Well, what's in it for me? Uh, the fact that you're helping out a celebrity? I think that's kind of cool, right? <laughs> You think I care? I want money, pal. All right, fine. If I give you some money, you're not going to post anything, right? Listen, man, this is my job, and this is how I make my money. So if you don't want me to post it, you need to pay me back for it. All right, fine. Here, a couple thousand dollars work for you? <laughs> this is perfect. Thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. Celebrity twin Ricky absolutely 
screamed his lungs out at a fan. You can see here in the footage, this poor fan just wanted a nice autograph and Ricky lays into him. I can't believe this huge celebrity is rude to his fans. What? That didn't happen. And that guy said he wasn't gonna post anything. Oh, I can't believe this. I don't wanna be famous anymore. I don't want this life. Oh, I just can't figure out what I'm gonna wear tonight. We've got that big red carpet event. What am I gonna do? I don't know, dude. Wear some Supreme or something. Yo, but I feel like you've been wearing that a lot lately. Oh, I don't know. Ricky, James, it's nice to see you. Hey, Juno, what's up? <sighs> Nothing much, but I wanted to invite you both to a party I'm hosting. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, we'd love to go. Yeah, when is it? It's tonight and only influencers are going. We're gonna have so many people there. It's gonna be crazy and I'm sure there's gonna be some drama. Wow, that sounds great. We'll be there. Yeah, I'd love to go, but I actually have some assignments for school. I should probably get those done. Ugh, Ricky, of course, you're gonna be a loser again. <sighs> you know what, James? You should just come to my party instead, okay? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be there. All right, ta-ta, boys. Mwah. Later, Juno. Man, she's awesome. She called me a loser. Are you kidding? Well, why didn't you just go to the party? Is school really more important? I mean, it's not going to matter. You're famous. Ugh, I can't believe this. Dude, wait, where are you going? I'm walking away from you. What? Why? What's the matter with you? Because you didn't stand up for me back there, dude. She straight up called me a loser to my face because I want to do schoolwork. And then you just didn't say anything. You're my brother. You're supposed to stick up for me. Oh my gosh, dude. Grow up. We're in the real world now. I know if someone called you a loser, I'd tell that other person to shut up. You're being such a baby, dude. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Mom, can I talk to you real quick? Ricky, what's the matter? What happened? James, he's acting like a total jerk, like he's too good for me now and stuff. <sighs> Brothers fight, that's just to be expected. But what happened? I just get the feeling like he doesn't care about me as much as he cares about being a famous celebrity. He's all about his fancy clothes and cool parties and fast cars. And he just doesn't get that I don't care about that stuff. Ricky, your life is nowhere near normal at all, and you guys are very famous, and yes, that does stem from me, and I'm sorry, but it is something you'll have to get used to, and maybe you're taking a bit longer to get used to it? I just don't care about all this stuff, the fancy clothes and whatever else comes with it. Ricky, I'm sorry, but this is your life. You're gonna have to get used to it. Yeah, well, not if I have anything to do about it. Ricky, don't... <sighs> Goodbye, designer clothes. Goodbye, fancy stuff. I don't need it anyway. I'm just gonna be normal. Just the way I'm supposed to be. Man, where is Ricky? He was supposed to be here like an hour ago. James, where is famous brother? I don't know. He should have been here by now. I'm sorry. I get paid by the hour. I am famous photographer. I am supposed to take pictures of famous twins. There is no twins. There is only one. Okay, well, if you're being paid by the hour, you shouldn't mind waiting a few more minutes. You twins, unprofessional. Hey, I'm uh, really sorry I'm late. What is this? What are you wearing? Uh, they're just my clothes, that's all. No, this is not right. No, no, that's it. I'm out of here. I cannot take this. Ricky, what are you doing? Nothing. I was just coming to the photo shoot, that's all. Yeah, well, you were super late, and then you show up wearing these horrible clothes? Mom's going to be so mad at you. Okay, fine. If mom grounds me or something, I don't really care. I just want to be treated like a normal person. Why do you want to be treated like a normal person? Being famous is awesome. No, it's actually not everything, James. Maybe if you got your head out of the bank account mom puts money in for you, you'd understand. Whoa. Are you serious, dude? You're going to stoop that low? You really think that of me? 
Dude, you haven't been acting like my brother for a long time. I don't know what to think of you anymore. Get over yourself, dude. I'm gonna go to that party tonight and make sure that our reputation isn't ruined by you. Oh yeah? I think I'm gonna go to the party too. Don't show up, dude. Especially not looking like that. Hey, Juno, what's up? Oh, hi, James. I knew it was you with how fast and crazy you were driving. Yeah, gotta dodge the paparazzi. Am I right? <laughs> totally. Ugh, you're so wild. And that car is so sick. Thanks. Yeah, it was only $300,000. Wow, that was really cheap. Well, I have a more expensive car at home. This is just my casual car. Oh, I would love to see the other one someday. Oh my gosh, James, hi. James, I'm a big fan. Can, can I get your autograph? Yeah, of course. Who should I make it out to? Just make it out to Stuart, please. Okay, here you go, dude. Have a nice day. James touched this piece of paper and he signed it. Oh my gosh, and in person, I have to say, your hair looks so, so much better than real life. Wow, can, can I touch it, please? Uh, no, dude. Step away from me. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. What a weirdo. Wow, you handled that so well. You're famous and strong. You know, I wasn't going to say this because I didn't think you were good enough, but do you maybe want to, like, go out with me or something? Yeah, that sounds lovely. Cool, let's take a photo for the Instagram. Yeah, this town is certainly lonely. I wish I was hanging out with James, but he's been acting like a total jerk. I don't want to be anywhere near him. I just don't know why he's acting like this towards me. Hey, kid, you look sad. Is everything okay? I'm sorry, no. I'm just really stuck in my head, you know? I just don't know what I'm going to do. What you're going to do with what? Well, with my brother and my family, to be honest. They're all just obsessed with how famous they are and how much money they have. There's only one happiness in life. It's to love and to be loved. Yeah, that's what I think too. All the money and fame really doesn't matter. It matters about who you are, who you're with, and your loved ones, right? Exactly. Hey, thanks. You know, it's actually really nice talking to you. Yeah, it was nice talking to you too. It honestly gets pretty lonely out here. Are you homeless? Do you live out here? Yeah, I've been on the streets for a while now. Uh, you don't happen to have any spare coins on you, do you? Coins? Uh, no, I don't. But I've got this. Here, you can have it. No, no, that's too much. That's too much. No, seriously, here, take it. I don't really need to use it. Thank you so much. Wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna go buy a Shane Plays poster with this. That's an awesome plan. Well, I hope you enjoy it, dude. I will, thank you. Oh, I'm getting a new alert on my phone. James is out with Juno, huh? Oh, great. He decided to make a red carpet appearance without me. How nice. Can't believe he'd do that. And her, with all people? She's really not nice. I gotta go talk to James. Tag, you're it. No, get back here. Hey... James, can I tell you something? Yeah, what's up, Ricky? Mom says we're gonna be really famous and I'm kinda scared. I don't know what to do. Hey, don't worry about it. You'll always have me by your side and whatever happens, we'll face it together. Yeah, twin brothers forever, right? Right. Uh, James, hello, James. Uh, what? Uh, what's wrong with you? Are you good? People are starting to give us a weird look. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about Ricky, that's all. Um, well, you should be thinking about me. I'm your girlfriend now. And look at all the people that are taking our photos. We're gonna be on the cover of every magazine for the next week. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm just wondering if maybe I should check up on him. Hey, James! Ricky! Hey! Well, I can't believe you totally replaced me, huh? 
don't need your twin brother anymore now that you've got some super famous girlfriend, huh? Dude, Ricky, now isn't the best time. There's a bunch of people around. Well, when is it gonna be a good time, James? Later, okay? Just not right here. Who cares about what's going on here? You're supposed to be my brother, and I need to talk to you. I can't believe you just stooped to the level of every other dumb celebrity who cares about fame and fortune and everything that doesn't matter. Dude, you're freaking out. Calm down. Stop acting like a loser. Don't call me a loser! Dude, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I can't believe James is such a jerk. James, you're my best friend. You're my best friend, and I'll always be there. Really? Are you sure? You've changed, James. You've changed a lot. Ricky, everything will be okay. You don't need to be scared. Are you sure? Scared I'm gonna lose you forever. That'll never happen. Everything will be okay. You just need to wake up. What, wake up? Yeah, wake up, Ricky. Oh, oh man, what's, what's going on? James? Oh my gosh, you're okay. Well, what happened? You got in a little car accident, but everything's okay now. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just, just so upset I wasn't paying attention. Listen, I'm sorry. I should have remembered that family always comes first. Like I said, I will always be here for you, brother. I was scared. I just thought you were changing and you didn't like me anymore. And we weren't going to be brothers or close like we used to be. Of course not. I changed and I'll keep changing, but I'm always going to be your brother. Well, that makes me feel a little better. Well, you'll feel better once the ambulance comes. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Beat you again, Connor. Jimmy, that's no fun. You're always cheating at these games. Dude, it's just because you're not that good at it. That's okay. But whatever, I'm the best. I'm just gonna buy all these upgrades. All right, you can buy all the upgrades you want, but I highly doubt you're gonna beat me. It's about skill, dude. Ugh, whatever. I'm bored of playing games anyways. We should do something more fun. Well, I thought we were having fun. It's only fun if you win, Jimmy. It's not fun if you lose. All right, all right, fine, fine. So what do you think we should do? I don't know, we're bored. We've got a ton of money. We're billionaires, dude. Yeah, yeah, I know, we're billionaires. I don't know, let's go mess around with people in the town. Laugh at poor people and play tricks on them or something. Really, that's what you wanna do? Yeah, doesn't it sound like fun? Uh, I guess so. All right, come on, dude, let's go. Let's laugh at some poor people. <laughs> All right, Connor, so what kind of ice cream do you want? Hmm, well, I think I really want the gold-infused ice cream. I think that sounds perfect for us. Yeah, that sounds great. Can we get two gold-infused ice creams, please? Um, yeah, no, we don't, we don't sell that here. I don't even know what that is. Uh, what? What do you even mean you don't know what that is? It's ice cream infused with edible gold. And it's so expensive, only rich, wealthy people can buy it. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, no, I have, like, vanilla, or do you want, like, mint chocolate chip, maybe? Okay, well, clearly you can't hear me that well. I'm gonna repeat myself one more time. Gold-infused ice cream. Why don't you go mine some gold and bring it back here for me? I mean, I'm the customer. You should be doing what I want. Um, I'm the only one on this shift, so I can't, like, leave the store. Also, I don't know where a mine is. Um, Listen, lady, um, I think you should really get him the gold ice cream. If he doesn't get it, he's gonna flip out. Uh, again, I guess I could, like, try to do some magic, be like, boobity doo uh, it's gold, you know, and then you believe it and you eat it. Will that work? Jimmy, I'm Sorry, I have to do this. I've had it up to here with you and your attitude, lady. Do you have any idea who we are? My dad basically runs this whole town, okay? He owns like half of it. And you know what? You're fired. What? Are you kidding me? I need this job. I just bought a 1996 Ford Mustang. <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys. Wow, what's going on? Um, how are you? Really cool cars. <laughs> hey Tammy. Hey, thanks. They're pretty new. Yeah, our dad got them for us last week. Pretty sweet, huh? Wow, yeah, super sweet. They look like they go pretty fast. Um, so I have like a question for you guys or for Jimmy specifically. So Tammy, what's up? What do you want? Well, I actually came over here because I wanted to ask Jimmy if he would go out on a date with me, maybe? Yeah, Jimmy will go on a date with you, but you have to prove something to us first. Prove something to you? Um, okay, what? You have to tell us which one of us is Jimmy. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that's hard. You guys are identical twins. Um, okay, let me see. Um, you're, um, you're Jimmy, right? You're Jimmy. <laughs> nope, I'm Connor, but you lose. <laughs> Wait, no fair. I, I want to redo. I want to redo. <laughs> yeah, no way, Tammy. Get out of our face. Come on, guys, please. Just give me a second chance. Come on. Tammy, everyone in school knows you're just a gold digger, okay? You only date the rich guys. Um, no, that's not true. Well, maybe, but I can't help it if all the rich guys also happen to be attractive. So it's like a coincidence. It's not like that's not like a thing. Well, Tammy, if you can't tell us apart, you've got no business dating either one of us. So why don't you just get out of here? We don't even want to look at you anymore. Ugh, fine, whatever. You guys are both losers and I think you're stupid. I don't know, dude. I've just been so bored lately. You've been bored of what? I don't know. There's just not a whole lot of fun things to do in this poor, stupid town. Wouldn't it be funny if we just landed our helicopter in the middle of the soccer field during a game? Um, no, not really, dude. What if there are people there and what if they get hurt? <laughs> not my problem. I think it would be cool. We just show up in a helicopter and we walk out like, oh, sorry, was this happening today? <laughs> I think that'll be so funny. Hey, I gotta talk to you guys. Well, look who it is. It's Big Tough Logan. Yeah, I am Logan, and Tammy's my girlfriend. Apparently you made her cry earlier today. Which one of you idiots is Connor? Uh, him. He's Connor. What? Connor, you're a total jerk. I can't believe you'd make my girlfriend cry. You totally deserve this. Ow! Oh, man, my head hurts. What happened? <laughs> you totally got knocked out, dude. Connor, I can't believe you would do that to me. That guy was mad at you. Yeah, yeah, listen, I understand. I'm sorry, dude, but it had to go down like that. Oh, really? It had to go down like that? I don't know. Maybe you think you should have told the truth? Yeah, but the whole point of that was so, you know, I could have some fun. Have some fun by watching your brother get knocked out? No, no, no. See, dude, I totally let that happen. And afterwards, while you were here, I went to the principal and I paid him. So now that guy Logan's expelled. Wait, I'm so confused. So after all of this, you did this so that you could get Logan expelled from school? Yeah, he's a total jerk. Don't you think you're kind of being a total jerk? No, I think I'm bored and I'm messing with poor people. And it's funny. <laughs> it's really funny. I don't know, man. I don't like any of this. Uh, it's just because you got your head knocked around a little bit. You'll be fine. <laughs> Beat you again, Connor. Oh, you're so frustrating, dude. Hey, hey, guys. Um, hey, man, what's wrong? You look really upset. Well, yeah, I'm super hungry. I haven't had anything to eat all day. I know you guys are like super millionaire, billionaire, whatevers. Um, I was just wondering if there's any way I could borrow like a couple bucks to get a sandwich. Oh, yeah, of course. Listen, we'll pay you about 10 grand if you eat this sandwich right here. Connor. Where did you get that sandwich? <laughs> I found it on the sidewalk. Ew, dude, that's gross. Yeah, man, I don't know if I want to eat a ground sandwich. I mean, I'm really, really hungry and I haven't been able to eat for a while. Well, man, do you want the 10 grand or not? Yeah, I could really use it. Okay, I'll give it a try. Ooh, this is gross. Is there mustard on this? <laughs> dude, I was just joking with you. I can't believe you'd actually eat it. What? What do you mean? You actually think I was going to give you 10 grand for eating a sandwich? Please, you're pathetic. What? You're the worst. I thought you were going to help me. Nah, don't feel like it. Get out of our face, loser. <laughs> Connor, dude, that was rough. <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. Come on. 
All right, man, our birthdays are coming up. We went big last year, but we've got to go even bigger this year. Yeah, but what are we going to do? I mean, we've kind of already done everything you can. You know, we've rented out the arcade. We rented out the movie theater. We rented out the club last year. There aren't a whole lot of places to hang out in Brookhaven. Well, there is the hub. Yeah, but we've already been there, dude. No, 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 no. Dude, I think we should buy the entire hub. Really? Well, actually, that does sound kind of cool. We can invite everybody in the school, and there'd be plenty of room for people to hang out, and play games, watch a movie, eat food, do whatever they want. Yeah, see, we're on the same wavelength here. Well, we are twins. Yeah, I know, whatever. But I think it'd be better if we charge people to enter. What? Like, charge people to come to our birthday party? Yeah, we can say it's like, uh, I don't know, something small, like $1,000 or something. And if they don't have the money, they can't hang out with us. I think that's a little too insensitive. Dude, I mean, I don't want people to pay to hang out with me. Well, if that's not what you want to do, fine. I'm just going to have a birthday party without you. Dude, we're twins. We have the same exact birthday. Yeah, and you're not invited to my birthday. How about that? No, dude, we have to spend our birthdays together. That's like the whole thing. Well, this is what I want to do, so you better get on board with it, dude. All right, fine, sure. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so we'll buy the hub and start charging people a grand. This is going to be awesome. Uh, Connor, did you send out all the invites for everybody? Yeah, of course, dude. I sent them all out to their student emails. There you two are. I have a bone to pick with you losers. Ugh, not this guy. What do you want, Logan? You totally ruined my life. My parents think I'm a total failure because I got expelled from school, and I know it was you guys that did it. Uh, no, definitely wasn't us. I know it was you. I'm not that dumb. Well, actually, you are pretty dumb. So dumb, in fact, that you didn't even see this coming. Oh, you guys are the worst. Ew. Dude, that's it. I've had enough of this. Yeah, I know. That guy Logan's a total nerd. No, that's not what I've had enough of. I've had enough of you and your attitude. You always have to ruin everything. And now people hate us. That's probably why no one's here for our party. I don't care. I don't care about anybody. I'm super rich. That's all that matters. I don't want to be a part of this anymore, dude. If you don't stop, then I'm done hanging out with you. Uh, you're joking, right? We're twins. Yeah, and I can't believe my twin would be so mean and heartless like you. Jimmy, wait, come back, stop! Jimmy, Jimmy, are you here? Oh man, I can't believe he would just ditch me at the party like that. He's such a jerk. Jimmy, where are you? Oh, darling, hi, hello, how are you? Hey mom, have you seen Jimmy anywhere? Oh, darling, yes, Jimmy headed over to the airport. He needed to take a vacation. He seemed very upset. Oh man, I can't believe this. I feel like this is all my fault. And I think Jimmy's mad at me. All I wanted to do was have fun with my brother and show him that we could be happy without all those poor losers. Well, darling, you know Jimmy. Jimmy, he's never been one to care much for money, okay? I don't understand why. <laughs> it's literally everything. Yeah, but, I mean, I didn't need to upset my twin brother and all. Oh, man, I gotta get to the airport before Jimmy leaves. Yes, darling, of course. Go ahead, take the Porsche and make sure you take the express lane. You'll get there quicker and in style. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Jimmy, you're here. Oh, I'm glad you didn't take off yet. What do you want, Connor? Can't you see I just want to be left alone? Listen, dude, I'm sorry for doing all that stuff to those people. I just wanted to hang out with you, that's all. Yeah, of course. I want to hang out with you too, man. You're my twin brother, but those things you were doing weren't right. Just because we're rich doesn't mean we can act like that. You have to treat people with respect, no matter how much money they have. Just because we're billionaires really doesn't mean anything. I know, I'm sorry. I was acting like a total jerk, and I wasn't thinking straight. Can you forgive me? Well, yeah, of course. Of course, dude. You're my brother. It was just weird seeing you act like that. That's not who you are. Yeah, you're right. That's not me. And I promise I'm gonna make everything right again. I'll go back to school and I'll apologize to the principal and make sure he gets Logan back from being expelled. Well, that's a good place to start. That guy was really upset. See how that affected him? Yeah, I see that now. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right, dude. Whatever. I just appreciate you coming to your senses. I mean, you were getting a little crazy. Yeah, I guess I was, huh? Yeah, totally crazy. But I'm just glad you're doing the right thing. Jasper! Do you think someday we'll be able to get famous? I don't know, we don't really have a lot of money. I know, we're really, really poor. 
I know. Someday I just want to be rich and famous, don't you? Yeah, but I don't know what to do. I mean, it's so hard. I know, I'm really hungry. We haven't eaten in like days. Plus, everybody hates us because we're noobs. Don't say that. Don't say we're noobs. We're trying. Well, I don't know. I've always been really good at dancing and we do have a phone. Maybe we could try making TikToks. Well, yeah, I mean, that could be cool. Maybe we can come up with some funny dances or something. I can record it. Okay, okay, check this out. Ready? <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow, this is awesome. I mean, I think it's funny. Ha! Ah, me too! Me too! So, maybe everyone else will like it. Who knows? Uh, I'm just gonna upload it now. My gosh, I need to find a way to make money fast. I am super broke. All of my clients are not making me any money. It's very, very frustrating. Hey, Mr. Norman, do you, like, have a second to talk? Yes, Kathy, what is it? I'm very busy making lots and lots of money. Well, look, I was on TikTok and I saw these amazing noob twins. Noobs, huh? Haha, <laughs> this is pretty funny. Yeah, and they have, like, a ton of views and they would be definitely good for our brand, don't you think? You know, Kathy, I think that you're right. These two noobs are gonna be big money for us. Yeah, so, like, do you want me to reach out to set up a meeting? Yeah, we'll make these noobs the biggest TikTok stars that exist, and I'm gonna make sure that I get all the money. Cool, I'm, like, so excited to meet them. Maybe I can record my own TikTok with them. Casper, we got so many views on that first video. People actually like it. Oh my gosh, people actually like us? Yeah, it's the first time people aren't really being mean. Everything's pretty positive. Really? No one's calling us noobs? Well, they're calling us noobs, but they're saying that, like, we're, like, really cool noobs and we're funny. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. This is unbelievable. This is all I ever wanted. Yeah! I know, but I don't really understand how we're going to make any money. I mean... We're still really poor. Yeah, but think about it. People saw it and they liked it. They weren't mean to us. That's a huge win. Yeah, I guess that's true, actually. Hello, noobs. Or should I say Casper and Jasper? I'm just kidding. Uh, hi, who are you? Oh, my name's Norman. I'm a big, big talent producer slash agent slash manager. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Hi there. Well, what can we help you with? Well, we're looking for some new people to sign, and we saw that you guys were really great at TikTok, and we wanted to work with you and make you the most famous TikTok stars that exist. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, wait a minute. How is this going to work? Look, it's going to work because I have a ton of money, and I know exactly what you guys need to be making. I'm going to help promote you. I'm going to make sure you make a lot of money, okay? I'm going to tell everyone about you. Oh my gosh, can we do it, Jasper? This is great. I mean, we're finally becoming famous. All right, so there's plenty of videos that we need to make to get you guys as famous as you need to be. And I think that Casper should be the main star. What? Why? Oh, I think it's because I'm awesome. That's why. Woo! I think we should both be in the videos, don't you? No, no, Casper's more of the dancer. Jasper, you can just film everything. Oh, I'm so excited. This is amazing. Look at me go. I think that I could make Casper here a giant star. Yeah, but what about me? I'm his twin brother. We're supposed to be a team. Look, look, we are. You are still part of the team, of course. And what you're doing is going to be very, very important. Yeah, come on, Jasper. You know I'm not going to forget about you or anything. You're still going to be rich and famous just like me. We're twin brothers. We can't separate. All right, that's fair. I trust you. Plus, we got to get out of our house. It's terrible. Yeah, it really is. All right, well, it's time to make some money. This is so much better than our other house, huh? Yeah, I guess. What's the matter with you, man? I don't know. We dreamed of both becoming famous together, and I'm not even on camera. Oh, with this again? Come on, man. Well, look, I mean, you could at least let me in some of the videos. Look, I think that you're just jealous that I have better dance moves than you. That's not true. I'm not jealous. It's just I wanted to be a part of this with you. Uh, it sounds like you're jealous to me, man. I just can't believe that you're acting like this. I mean, this isn't what we dreamed of. What are you talking about? This is exactly what I dreamed of. 
I just thought that you would be more understanding, that's all. No, I think everything's going really great for me right now. I really don't like the person that you're becoming. Well, I like it because now I'm super famous and you get to live in my house. Hey, this is our house. I get some of this money too. Yeah, but you don't get all the fame. None of that matters. I can't believe that you're really thinking like this. Oh, whatever, Jasper. We got work to do. I got a bunch of new dances I got to try. Kathy, this is great. The noobs are making me so much money. They're going to be trending on all platforms soon. But like, I don't know, Mr. Norman. I don't really feel good about this. It's not really nice what you're doing to the noobs. First of all, they're just stupid noobs. They don't know anything anyway. I could just tell them that I paid them and they'd probably believe me. I guess, but like, you never even gave me a raise. So like, am I working for free now? I don't know. Maybe I'll pay you when I become a billionaire. <laughs> I don't know, Mr. Norman. Like, shouldn't you feel bad that you're using people to be rich like this? Like, this is going to put out so much bad karma into the atmosphere. The only thing I feel bad about is how annoying you are right now. My goodness. If you keep complaining like this, I'm going to fire you on the spot. Do you understand? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, uh, I I'm so sorry, Mr. Norman. Forget I said anything. You're like the best boss ever. That's right, I am the best boss ever. Now go get the noobs ready for the fan event tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, Casper. I have something like super important to tell you. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, sure, what do you have to tell me? So, like... Norman is actually planning on stealing all of you and your brother's money when you reach your peak of fame. What? How, why would he do that? He's supposed to be our friend. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. He's like not your friend. Wait, really? Why would he want to be my friend? I'm famous. Look, I'm really, really sorry, but he's been using you and your brother this whole time. And like, I just wanted to tell you what was going on. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Well, maybe Jasper was right about this guy. He didn't really like him all that much. Oh yeah, no, he was totally right to not trust him. Norman's like kind of the worst. Well, thanks, Kathy. I appreciate it. I'm going to tell my brother at the fan event tomorrow when I see him. Hey, Jasper, I got to tell you something. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, Jasper, you got to get out of here. What are you talking about? Why don't you get out of here? No, no, no. I need to talk to Casper alone, not with you. What, Casper? This can't be true. Casper, you got to ditch your brother, okay? And we got to cut him out of the videos. He's useless and he's taking away your fame. What? But that's my brother. He's not useless. Look, you got to go out there and make us some money. People want to see you, not Jasper. But, uh, but that's my brother. I, I don't know. I shouldn't turn my back on him. Yeah, I mean, come on, Norman. This is kind of messed up. You know what's messed up is the more you stand here and waste my time, the less money you make. Jasper, get up there and see your fans. Wait, so it's true? Norman was just trying to steal from us? Yep, it's true. I knew there was something bad about that guy. I know, I mean, he did make us famous, but at the same time, he tried to tear us apart. Yeah, he really did. Look, Jasper, I'm really sorry for how I treated you. I mean, you're my twin brother. You're the most important person in my life. Uh, it's okay, I understand. I know that the fame went to your head. Yeah, exactly. Plus, I was jealous. I wanted to be the one on camera. I wanted to be the one that everyone thought was so cool. Oh, uh, everybody thinks that you're cool, Jasper. Don't worry about that. Well, I think it's time we finally tell Norman that we don't need him anymore. We can just make videos together. I mean, we're already famous enough. I wouldn't want anything else more than that, man. Well, we have another fan event coming up tomorrow. Let's just talk to Norman then. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Sounds good. Hopefully he likes getting fired. Norman, we gotta talk, man. Okay, what's going on? Well, I don't like the way you've been treating us, and I know your plan to try to steal all our money. What are you talking about, you stupid noobs? You'd be lost without me. No, you tried to tear us apart so that you could steal from us. How do you even know any of this stuff? We have our sources, man. We know. And I'm done having you take my money. 
I want to work with my brother. Yeah, I do too. And I think you're a big phony, man. You two are just a bunch of stupid noobs. No one even likes you. Well, that's not true. Everybody likes us. We're super famous. And that didn't even have anything to do with you. We were the one posting the videos. Yeah, and I'm the one with the sweet dance moves. Well, we'll see about this. We'll see how many people care about you when I'm not around. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it because there's a whole stadium filled with people there to see me, not you. So, see ya. Oh!